Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar and I am here with a new topic and the topic is how to manage system D services using system CTL command. So what is system D? System D is a system and service manager in Linux operating system. We use this utility as a replacement of SysV in it. It provides a number of features like the parallel startup of system services on-demand activation of daemon and it supports system state snapshot etc. In Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, systemd is used as a default init system. So what is system CTL? So system CTL is a systemd utility which is responsible for controlling the systemd and service manager. So let's see how to use system CTL command to manage our daemon and services. So log into your system. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing root login with the password. As you can see here, that is a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3 version, 64 bit. And I'm using this operating system with the VMware Workstation 12 Pro version. We have just installed this operating system in our previous video. So let's proceed with the topic. So I have already listed here what we are doing here that how to use system CTL command for managing system services and daemons we will learn here and how to view the status of services and daemons working with run labels and how to power off reset or restart suspend and hibernating the system. So let's see how to manage services and daemons. So first of all open your terminal and the system CTL like uh, if you want to enable a service or daemon we, you can use en enable ntpd I'm using ntpd daemon you can use any other daemon or service I'm just to show you as, uh, to show you the example I'm using a single daemon that is ntpd whatever services and daemons you have you can use this command to manage that so let's proceed with uh, with the topic as you can see here i used enable option with the system ctl command to enable ntpd daemon and once it's enabled i need to restart or start the service i'll use start option with the system ctl even you can use command service dot service with the daemon name to enable or start your service as you can see that we, if we can use enable or, or start the daemon using enable uh, enable option with the system ctl command so if we want to disable the service or uh, daemon we can use disable as you can see removed and again if I want to enable the service I'll use enable the service and it will enable your service and shown let's see how to stop the service once yeah as you can see here I can stop stop the service by using stop option with the system ctl command for any daemon so as you can see here i am using enable disable start or stop to manage services as if you have configured any any uh, configuration file in your daemon or service you can reload the configuration as you can see here reload but uh, as you can see I am getting a failed message because I haven't configured anything in uh, in configuration file so there is not uh, nothing to reload that's why this is here but if you are changing something in your configuration file and you want to uh, uh, reload the, those that configuration for uh, in your running system you can use reload option for with the system ctl command
So these are the, these are the option which is used to manage your services and daemon and that is start, stop, enable, disable or reload. Even you can use restart your service if you require some time. So these are the option. So next thing is what to do is view the status of your services. What option we can use with the system CTL to view the status of our services or daemon. So let's start with the command system CTL is open enabled NTPD daemon. This will verify you whether the NTPD daemon or any particular daemon is enabled or disabled. If I'll disable this service or daemon and I will verify whether it is enabled, it will show you that the service NTPD or daemon NTPD is disabled. So you can use is happen enable option to verify whether your service or daemon is enabled or disabled. Yeah, I have enabled again and here we go as the status is enabled. I just want to verify whether the NTPD daemon is active or deactivated. So let's see is active. Yes, it's inactive. It's not activated right now. So if we use command start and see once I have started the NTPD daemon you can see that your NTPD daemon is active now. So you can activate or deactivate your service or uh, if you want to detail detail information about your daemon you can use status option and this command will show you the detail information about your service as you can see here NTVT server network, ti network time server loaded this is the loaded information it is active and running and the process ID and the main process ID and so on listening these are the status of the NTPD daemon so these are the option is enable the first option is enable whether to verify your NT uh, N daemon is enabled is active whether to verify your uh, any daemon is running and for detailed information you can use status option with the daemon name to uh, to show uh, to see entire information of your daemon so you can use this option to view the status of your services at daemon let's proceed with the further uh, further point and that is working with run labels how to change run labels in red hat enterprise linux 7 using system ctl command so let's see how to do it so first of all i would i'll show you how to get a uh, rescue mode using system ctl so i'll use system ctl rescue as you can see, that is the rescue mode of uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. It's asking for password. I'll assign one. And we are in the rescue mode. So we can get our rescue mode by normally typing command system CTL rescue. And if we want to change our run level to run level 3 or multi user mode, we will use command system CTL isolate run label 3 dot target this is the command to get a particular run label system ctl isolate run label 3 target and here we go as you can see here we will access the run label 3 
and we can verify our run level by using command normally we use this command in previous version too and here is that this is the default run level of your uh, of your system that's why it's showing here 511 and let's see how to get now now the graphical mode so we'll use command system ctl system ctl get set or isolate graphical dot target and you will get your run level 5 or graphical user interface so let's log in again for the further commands so we can change our run level to rescue mode or run level 3 or a graphical mode using system ctl and with the option isolate and if you want to set your graphical mode as the default run level or the run, run level 5 as the def default run level you can use system ctl ctl set rn default graphical dot target and your default run level is graphical now or run level 5 now you can verify whether the graphical mode has set you can just use command system ctl get default and as you can see here graphical dot target graphical mode is the default run level of your system so let's proceed for the further point and another point is how to power off restart suspend hibernate your system so there are the very easy command like uh, system ctl ctl power off off as you can see the system has shut it down let the system start now log into the system again at I'm using root login again and the command system CTL system control power up to power up your machine same as we can use reboot system CTL reboot to reboot our system as well as we can use system hibernate to hibernate our system or we can suspend the system so it's not very it, uh, uh, very tough job to manage services and daemons in red hat enterprise linux 7 but uh, it's a very basic basic concept of system ctl and system d service and daemons so you will have to work out on this topic much more for uh, in depth if you want to process uh, if you want to have a very thorough knowledge in this topic but uh, at this time i think this video will help uh, help you to make a uh, good concept about controlling uh, controlling system services and daemons using system ctl commands i hope you like this video if so Please share this video with others also and don't forget to su subscribe and if you have any other suggestions you can write the comment at this time. Thank you so much. Bye bye.